the, our ability to produce products that generate uh, results that are um, trustworthy uh, is built on years of experience across a whole range of projects. As you know, Cepheid has been in this for pretty much since the beginning, starting with anthrax, right? Anthrax detection in the post office. The post office did not want to have to deal with false positive results coming out of mail screening. They had very tight specifications on avoiding false positive results. Uh, they didn't want false negatives either, so we had to design to very tight specs. We've taken those same principles and applied them to other emerging infectious diseases, drug-resistant tuberculosis, influenza, healthcare-associated infections, um, Ebola. So in the case of SARS-CoV-2, we were able to leverage a lot of experience with the flu test that we had already developed and uh, were able to bring that technology into the development cycle for the SARS-CoV-2 test cartridge. And that really saved us a lot of time. The advantage that we have is experience uh, with the system and uh, being able to really leverage more and more and more content out of every cartridge. So generating more results per cartridge, generating them faster. For instance, our influenza test, the influenza part of the fourplex test, is already built to be able to recognize not just seasonal flu, flu A and flu B, but to cover the possibility of an avian influenza outbreak. So it's already pandemic ready. It has four targets just to cover the influenza A part, to provide the coverage that we need to be able to detect these rare, exotic, potential pandemic influenza strains. We can't afford to be in a position of going, oh no, we have to develop a new test from scratch the next time a pandemic happens. We need to build in the capability of recognizing current and future strains that might emerge as pandemic strains. Uh, so we've done that with the fourplex. We have a, a pandemic ready influenza A uh, uh, component. We have a variant ready SARS-CoV-2 component because we built in multiple targets and we also have a broad range target in that mix. So Theoretically, if SARS-CoV-3 were to emerge um, in a few years, we would be ready for that uh, because we have broad range capability built in for that same family of viruses. And I think test companies in the future are gonna be asked, show us your pandemic readiness portfolio. We don't wanna be caught flat-footed next time this happens. And that really depends on building in broader range of coverage.